In this video we'll discuss how you can use the new multi-tenant uh, connection string type for building SAS applications where you have a multi-tenant uh, database. So in a SAS application that's built with a multi-tenant database, each table in the database includes an additional field called the tenant ID and that is the ID of the tenant to whom those records belong. So you can see here we've taken the demo uh, Northwind customer table and we've added a tenant ID field and we've just assigned some of the records in this table to tenant ID 1 or tenant ID 2 etc. So we're now going to build a connection string that could be used in a SAS application against this uh, database. So we'll start out here We'll go to SQL and we'll create a new connection string. So we'll call this uh, um, my multi uh, tenant con string. And we'll go here and we'll choose a custom right now so we can actually see the uh, X basic code behind the scenes. So I'm going to choose custom, click OK. And then I'm going to basically uh, select one of the sample uh, X basic classes that implement a custom uh, driver over here. So I'll choose the multi tenant driver. And we can see now that this is the X basic class that is going to implement this driver. So by using the uh, custom approach, we can actually look into the X basic code that implements this, this driver in case we want to make a change to the way it behaves. So I'll go ahead there and hit save. And now that I've created that class, you can see there's a class in my uh, project there. I can go ahead and uh, choose the driver, choose the class, and that brings up the property sheet. So this is going to basically be a multi-tenant driver for my existing uh, Northwind connection string. So I'm going to go here and choose uh, Northwind. Click OK. And then I'm going to specify that the field in my uh, SQL tables that have the tenant ID is called tenant ID. So there's the field name tenant ID. It's a numeric field. So I'll go there and type in tenant ID. And it's going to be a numeric field. And then the last thing is the name of the session variable that will hold the actual value of the tenant ID. So I'm going to just go here and type in tenant ID. So that means that basically at runtime there needs to be a session variable called session.tenant ID that contains the value of the um, of the session of the tenant ID. So I'll go ahead, click OK, click OK, close. And now let's go over to the interactive window to test this out. So I'm going to go here and say dim cn as SQL colon colon connection and then question mark cn dot open and I'll choose my uh, connection string so um, I forget what I called it here um, so here we go my multi-tenant connection string so there we go and then uh, press enter so we can see that we successfully opened the connection string and now we need to create a session variable that uh, can be seen uh, when we execute the query. So let's go here and first of all type um, uh, dim SQL as C and then SQL equals select star from customers and then I'm going to dim a session variable but since I'm in the interactive window I need to do it slightly differently. I'll say dim shared session dot tenant ID equals 2, uh, sorry, uh, as n equals 2. So I have to find a session variable now called tenant ID. So now I'm going to go ahead and execute my SQL. So uh, cn dot execute SQL. And now I'm going to look at my data that I got back. So I'll go here and type cn dot result set dot 2 JSON. And now you can see all that I'm seeing are the records that match tenant ID number two. If I were to go here and change this to tenant ID number one and execute the same query again and then look at the results, you can see I only see records for tenant ID number one. So essentially what I've done here is create a driver that automatically injects the correct SQL statement, the, the correct uh, tenant ID into all of my SQL statements. Thanks very much for watching.